Tottenham are interested in Anthony Marshall. What on earth am I reading? What on earth am I reading? Genuinely, honestly, what what are we doing? A, the, one of the biggest summer transfer windows we've got coming up. And Anthony Marshall could leave Man United on a free and join Tottenham this summer. According to Sky Sports, that is what could happen. Make sure you go down, drop a like on the video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. You lot are slacking. 61% of everyone who watches this channel are not subscribed. So go down and hit that subscribe button. Anthony Marshall could leave Man United on a free and join Tottenham this summer. That is from paper. Uh, that is uh, paper talk, which is what some of the papers are saying. Like, Anthony Marshall could reportedly be thrown a Premier League lifeline this summer, with Tottenham Hotspur set to be interested in the player out of contract this season. Like, what on earth? What? Why are we looking? At Anthony Marshall, the guy can't stay fit for Toffee. An average, 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 average forward who genuinely, most of the time, can't even break into the Man United team who are currently below us. Why are we looking at their dead wood? Anthony Marshall is 28 years of age. Has played 13 games this season. 13 games this season. And only managed 444 minutes in the Premier League. Like, this isn't a rant, but Tottenham need to be looking at better players. This is why the fan base gets divided by so many players we bring through the door. Timo Werner, the fan base is divided. Brendan Johnson, the fan base is divided. I'm seeing fans now be divided in their opinion on James Madison. Like, if this is the type of player Tottenham are going to bring in, a guy where, when you look at his Man United stats, 317 games, 90 goals and 48 assists, on paper, looks very good. It looks very good. Now let's look at his individual seasons for Man United. Last year, only played 21 games, only scored six goals. The year before, only played eight games. The year before, only played 22 games. This season has only played 13. The most amount of games he's ever played in the Premier League and his best goal-scoring return was 1920 Premier League season where he got 32 games, 17 goals and 6 assists. Tottenham need to be looking at better footballers than Anthony Martial. This guy is absolutely washed. Genuinely, he's absolutely washed. What are we doing? Genuinely. Oh, Anthony Marshall, man. The guy stinks. Absolutely stinks. Like Dominic Solanke been linked. Completely understand it. 17 Premier League goals and looks to be a very, very good player this season. 17 goals in the league, three assists, 20 goal contributions in 32 games. The last time that Anthony Marshall played 32 games in the league was five years ago. He's 28 years of age. He's a free transfer, which means he's probably going to want a massive, massive signing on fit. Genuinely, if Tottenham go out and sign Anthony Marshall, I will lose my... I'll go insane. This guy is bang average. He's absolutely bang average. La the, uh, the year before last season, when he played uh, eight games in the Premier League, he only managed to get eight games in La Liga for Sevilla when he went on loan. Like, this is a lot of the time. When we link to these sort of players, obviously you've got to take it by a pinch of salt. But at the same time, it's frustrating that Arsenal can go out and spend 100 million on Declan Rice. Chelsea can go out and get Cole Palmer for an absolute steal. West Ham are getting Kudus and other players. And the attackers we're looking at are Anthony Martial. Like, if this is a standard of player that's coming in, Ange Postacoglu has got no chance. He's got absolutely no chance. Like, Timo Werner is very divided in terms of fan opinion. 
Lots of people want him gone. Lots of people don't think he's good enough. Anthony Martial is even worse than Timo Werner. So if you think that's bad enough right now in terms of how bad the reaction is from the fan base, it's only going to get worse and worse and worse if players like Anthony Martial are the standard. Like, what are we actually doing? Anthony Martial. The narrative is going to be, but he can play on the left. He can play on the right. He can play as a second striker. He can play as a number nine. The guy is Ruben Loftus-Cheeks. He's absolutely pony. He's bang average. Do you know what? He's probably worse than average. Like, genuinely, genuinely think right now, Tottenham have got to do everything they can to get in the Champions League. If we get into the Europa League and we're attracting players like Anthony Martial, then, like I said, what what chance has Ange Postacoglu got at achieving success with his football club? According to according to sources, Atletico Madrid want Giovanni Lo Celso. You know, another one who's dividing opinion. I actually, I'm in the minority. I actually think Giovanni Lo Celso should be given game time this season. Like, James Madison hasn't really done his thing in recent weeks. He, he, he looks off, the, off the, the level he's been at in recent years with Leicester and so far earlier this season with Tottenham. You know, but Giovanni Lo Celso, for me, should be given game time. I look at it right now in, in terms of where Tottenham want to go the trajectory of the football club, getting back into Europe, playing games left, right and centre next season, you know, wanting to potentially have a title charge, having a year under our belt in terms of Ange Ball, better relationships with the players, a better understanding on how to get the most out of Ange Ball. But right now, genuinely bringing in players like Anthony Martial, letting Lo Celso go to Atletico Madrid, you know, I look at it right now and just think, what, what a Tottenham going to do in the future depends on what we do in the upcoming transfer windows. Like, fair enough, Europa League in our first season under Ange, it's not what some people anticipated, but at the same time, it's still a relatively good season. You know, we've made some great signings under Ange. We've brought through Van de Ven, James Medicine, Vicario. We've implemented Sara and Udogi back into the team. But signing players like Martial, I, I'm losing my head just thinking about this. Anthony Martial. We haven't even signed him yet. We're just, we're just talking about the links and I'm already losing my rag. Like, it's insanity. It's absolutely insane. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I look at it right now in terms of where Tottenham want to go. The We haven't really necessarily taken the FA Cup and the Domestic Cup seriously. That was the best opportunity to win a trophy this year. I'm going to bring out a video grading the season. As the further we get to the end of the season, I'm going to bring out a video because I do think we've had a relatively good season. You know, we didn't take the Cup seriously. We're still battling for a Champions League position. But do we really think players like Martial are going to come in and strengthen that, like, and give us a better opportunity of finishing in the top four, in the top five? Like, for me, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane, genuinely. Like the guy, the guy is bang average. I don't, I don't, I don't understand the mindset of trying to sign a player like him. I think he is genuinely woeful um but if if Ange wants him what what do we do do we back him do we is he signing he's signing Anthony Martial back in Ange like we need so much this transfer window we need a DM a wide player a fullback and a center back probably and an attacking midfield player if Anthony Martial is going to be the winger or a striker we bring in I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about this. I'm not about this. I'm genuinely not about this. Like, nah, not for, not for me. Not for me. I don't know what you guys think. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts down below. Let me know. Anthony Marshall. 
nah. Please, no. Please, no. Stay away from this football club. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.